Hello and welcome to my video. This is Tingwinger5 and I'm comparing an LCD and an LED monitor. This is the LCD monitor, it's a Samsung 2333SW and it's 23 inches big and has a 20,000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio. I'm comparing it to the LED backlit Samsung again as we can see. LED monitor. This one is the BX2235 and it has a 500,000 to 1 contrast ratio which is the mega dynamic contrast as it says there and a 2 millisecond response time and I'm going to be connecting this to my NVIDIA 560Ti with this gold DVI cable it's a heavy duty expensive thing and well it's a DVI cable what more do you want this is how the monitors compare on paper you can see the LCD monitor is on the left and the LED monitor is on the right the LCD monitor is still using a cathode backlight, which is what's found in the old CRT monitors. You know, the ones that go back for miles and the old computers. Whilst the LED monitor is using the, an LED backlight, of course. Well, the, the contrast ratio is the biggest difference as you can see here. A 20,000 to 1 compared to a 500,000 to 1, that's an incredible increase just by having an LED backlight. Which seems to be a common trait with all these LED products. The response time is also different, but that could just be the monitor technology. Whilst the brightness on the LED monitor has been reduced 50, I'm reading this by the way, candela per square meter. So it has to reduce it and because of this the power consumption whilst running is cut in half. 22 to 45. But that's all very well, we need to see it properly. So I've connected both these monitors up with the same type of DVI cable to the same computer. Here's a nice image I took of some alpacas or llamas, whatever they are, I don't know. But you can see the difference in the grass, more in the middle of the area. You see the grass on the LCD monitor on the left here is much darker than on the LED monitor on the right, which you'll see in just a second. You can also see a slight difference on the brow of the brown uh, llama that's not got his head flat on the ground. But you'll also notice that the brightness, or they've reduced 50 candela per square metre, they're very much the same brightness level. I'm guessing this is because LEDs are much brighter than a cathode backlight. There we go. You see definite clear difference there. The green on the left is much darker. And I've also taken this picture in Ibiza. You can see in the light on the right of the screens is more green on the LCD monitor than on the LED. But here's the most striking difference. The whites are very different. On the LCD monitor it's more of a yellowy white than a proper white. So the LED monitor is giving you a much purer white. So we now move on to the main selling point of LED monitors. Look how thin it is. But they're cheating. The power supply is not connected inside the monitor like it usually is. It's a separate power supply that sits outside of the monitor. That's why it's so thin. It has a DC 12 or 14 volt input. Whereas the LCD monitor, as you can see here, is much thicker, but it does have the power supply on board. So I guess this judgment is up to you. You can see them there side by side and the mouse in the middle and a bunch of cables at the back that's a whole host of USB and all sorts but there is a definite di difference in thickness. So here's some advice from me. I do like the LED monitors and they are better than the LCD monitors but they're not that much better. You shouldn't think about replacing your LCD monitors with these LED monitors. If I were you I'd be waiting for the OLED monitors which are the pure LED screens which give much more colour and well, they're generally better than both of these monitors. So I'd hold out until they arrive. And of course you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and join my following at home team. But most importantly of all, don't forget to subscribe.